Hello everyone, welcome to another Flappy Bird tutorial. So what we've done so far in your game is if you start debugging your game and you press spacebar, it makes the bird jump and you have all the red um, pipes moving to the left and you're jumping through the holes but nothing happens when you touch the pipes and um, so that's the next thing we we're going to program so when you touch the pipe the game will end okay the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the speed that the pipes move towards the left so let's create a variable called um, pipe speed and let's make it a single variable okay now let's go down to the code where we have the pipes moving to the left and that is under the timer one tick function and you can see here we have pipe moving to the left which is the bottom pipe and the top pipe moving to the left so instead of moving <clears throat> at a unit of two I'm gonna move left um, using the variable um, pipe speed okay and then same thing down the bottom here pipe speed okay so if you play the game now actually let's make sure you assign a value to pipe speed let's make it um, three so if you run the game you can see the pipes are moving to the left a little bit quicker which is what we want okay we want it to move a little bit quicker so that it is it makes the game a bit different okay before it was moving a bit too slowly now try 3.5 and see if it moves a little bit quicker yeah okay now the next thing we want to do is make it so that the computer knows when the bird collides with the pipe and we're going to use the collision detection function which I have already shown you guys in my other games before so the coding for that is over here and um, if you have already done the tutorial for um, the other games then you can just copy and paste this code from another game and uh, paste it in your Flappy Bird game so it's basically the same code for whenever you need collision detection so if you haven't got it you can just copy it uh, you can just uh, type it out it's the same thing so I'm gonna put this code at the bottom just before end class so let me explain what this code means so it is a function with two input variables okay the first input variable is an object and the second input variable is also an object so we have object 1 object 2 as the input and the output is a boolean variable a boolean value which is true or false now um, originally the collision detection is going to return false however if the two objects overlap so basically this code here checks to see whether the two objects overlap in some way okay if they overlap then we change the collision collided variable to true and then we return the collided variable okay so what this means is in the timer every time the pipes move to the left I'm going to run a check to see whether it's colliding um, with my bird so I'm gonna run a collision detection check here so the function is called collision so I'm gonna type 
inside the timer procedure collision bracket pipe bracket I and the bird okay now this is going to return true if they've collided so if this returns true then I'm going to end the game so application dot exit okay this code will end the game so when I'm playing the game if the bird touches the bottom pipe it'll end the game and jump back notice how if it touches the top pipe nothing happens okay this will only happen when you touch the bottom pipe so we want to now make it so that if it touches the top pipe it does it does the same thing so let's use the or operator so if the top the bottom pipe collides or the top pipe collides Uh, let's copy and paste that but instead of pipe I'm going to change it to top pipe right if either of them collide then we exit the program so let's see what happens now bottom pipe exit top pipe oops did I touch it top pipe exit but if I don't touch either of them then I make it through um, you can see that it is a bit more difficult now so makes the game a bit more exciting so uh, because it's getting a bit hard I'm gonna increase the gap to let's say 460 okay just so that I can make it through a little bit easier but you don't want to make it too easy okay so now that's getting a little bit easy okay so that's it for now I'll see you guys next time